Hello, I'm Bob Ray Sanders here with Cynthia Allen, and we're here to discuss in this issue of Taking Sides Obama's uh, request to the Congress for $75 million to add cameras to police officers, local police officers' uniforms. So this is an answer to the whole issue of communications and mistrust between communities and police following the Ferguson incident. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I don't know that cameras are the answer, but what do you think? I would agree with you. They're, they're not the answer. I think they are one solution. Um, this is what happens in the wake of events like, like the, the shooting that we've seen in Ferguson. Um, political leaders and civic leaders are looking for a solution. Um, we're looking for some kind of solutions. And this is one. This will give um, police forces um, additional evidence, ad additional documentation of what actually happens at um, when when a citizen and a police officer have some sort of encounter. And in that sense, it will hopefully help resolve some disputes and give us some more answers um, than we had in, in circumstances like what we saw in Ferguson. And of course, we must understand that we've had cameras or videotape of incidents before involving police and citizens. Uh, they don't always uh, show a conclusive yeah. thing. And of course, when it gets to court, you know, police always argue they're point and the citizen will argue theirs. It is not a panacea mm -hmm. for trust and communication. And I and, and I have to say that I've been through this so many years that we have these dialogues every other year or so, every time there's an incident, and I think we're just waiting for the next one. I know here in Fort Worth, uh, we've had our number of incidents too, and the police chief is trying to deal with that, right? Right. Well, we and Fort Worth has one of the the largest number of of cameras. A, a police department. I think we have the second most number, largest number of cameras in the country, um, with some 600 or something like that. Um, unfortunately, that's still relatively new. We don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of feedback. We don't have a lot of data to see how that how useful that has actually been, because I think a lot of the cameras have only been purchased this year. Um, but there are other police departments that have sort of been um, guinea pigs and have used cameras with much success. There's a town that's often cited in California where they have seen incidents, complaints against police officers drop significantly, um, and and you know, violent encounters between citizens and police officers also drop significantly. So I think that cameras can be helpful. I think that they, um, there's a lot of common ground here where people on both sides of the aisle are going to see the value in them. But you're right, it's not a panacea. And, and I want to hope that this is not just going to become another industry thing. I mean, another industry of cameras. I, I know that the chief has a relationship with, with Taser. Uh, I, I think they're the ones who manufacture the cameras that are going to be used in Fort Worth. And, and, and these large companies make their business uh, happen. Their just like red light cameras. Yeah, oh, yeah it's, it's like anything else. I mean, uh, you know, criminal justice has become an industry. And I don't want it to be an industry. I want it to help, but I'm not so sure that it's going to help all that much. And people will be, I think, remiss if they go through life uh, or go through the next even two or three years thinking that because an officer has a camera on, on, on his chest or her chest, that it's going to solve some of the issues that we have with communication between the citizens and the police. You're absolutely right about it. And there are other issues that you've discussed as well, or we've discussed in the past, like protocols. When do cameras, when are cameras on? How long do you keep the video? All those sorts of questions. And um, that criteria needs to be developed, and it needs to be enforced within the police departments. And that's something that's significant. There are also civ civil liberties concerns about having, you know, do we have a police state that's videotaping everything? And I think some of those concerns are valid, too. Um, I'm not sure that every, every incident all the time should be videotaped. I think there's some problems there. Um, so we have to figure all this out. But it sounds like there are more questions than answers, and maybe you have the answers. Let us hear from you.